Welcome to this 30 minute yin yoga for gentle autumn mornings. It is so good to be back. Thank you all so much for your kind well wishes, your prayers, your vibes, all your messages. They supported me so much in my recovery. My cast is off. I'm still doing physio. I'm wearing this compression glove, which just keeps my hand from swelling. But I've been back to teaching the membership community for about a month, which has been bringing me so much joy. I just love teaching so much. And I feel ready to be back teaching on YouTube. So just to let you know about one thing that's coming up on November 4th, 5th and 6th, I'm going to be leading an online retreat about preparing for winter's long rest. There's some things that we can do in autumn to support ourselves in, um, to prepare for, to really regenerate our energy in winter. And we're gonna be doing this on a three day retreat with lots of yin yoga, some recipes to nourish you, some contemplative journaling. And if that sounds nourishing for you, there's gonna be some live classes, there's a schedule of classes and yoga nidra, lots of supportive things, then you can email me at admin at melissawest.com and uh, we'll send you the details on how you can join us for that. Otherwise, let's get into our class for today. We're gonna to start with two blocks. You're gonna need two blocks for today's class. We're gonna start with supported fish pose for your lung meridian. You can have <clears throat> your blocks uh, on high settings, medium settings, whatever feels most supportive for you. I'm gonna go for something a little lower. You're gonna be here for five minutes. So you can rest back over the blocks. This really opens up your lung meridians, helps you breathe in the pure chi, the inspiration of autumn season, opening gently to your autumn morning. Let your body settle into the props Finding that appropriate edge where you can soften, be still, stay for a while, let time and gravity do all the work and let the chi move into the meridians and the deeper tissues around the connective tissues and the joints of your body. I have some beautiful poetry for you to bask in while you are in the poses in this class. This poem is called Song for Autumn by Mary Oliver. In the deep fall, don't you imagine the leaves think how comfortable it will be to touch the earth instead of the nothingness of air and endless freshets of wind? And don't you think the trees themselves, especially those with mossy warm caves, begin to think of the birds that will come, six, a dozen, to sleep inside their bodies? And don't you hear the goldenrod whispering goodbye, the everlasting being crowned with the first tuffets of snow? The pond vanishes and the white field over which the fox runs so quickly brings out its blue shadows. And the wind pumps its bellows. And at evening especially, the piled firewood shifts a little, longing to be on its way. In the deep fall, don't you imagine the leaves think how comfortable it will be to touch the earth instead of the nothingness of air and the endless freshets of wind? And don't you think the trees themselves, especially those with mossy warm caves, begin to think of the birds that will come, 
six, a dozen to sleep inside their bodies? And don't you hear the goldenrod whispering goodbye, the everlasting being crowned with the first tuffets of snow? The pond vanishes and the white field over which the fox runs so quickly brings out its blue shadows and the wind pumps its bellows. And at evening, especially, the piled firewood shifts a little, longing to be on its way. Okay, so you're going to slowly make your way off your props and you're going to just rest back over your, on your mat so that you can feel the flow of chi in your body, particularly along the lung meridians which run along the inside of your arms down to your thumbs. So our second pose is going to be revolved child's pose, which if you have knee and ankle issues might be too much weight pouring through your knees, in which case you could take knees to chest pose with your arm across your body. You could even just do constructive rest with your arm across the body because we're trying to get the uh, large intestine meridian here. So that would be fine as well. We're not really trying to do the legs. So this would be fine. So you're going to come over. And you're going to you're going to be in this pose for five minutes. You're going to have your legs wide. You can walk your hands over to the right side of the mat and then take your left arm and feed it through your right, lower your left side of the head to the ground, and thread your left arm through. That will be for your large intestine. You'll be here for five minutes. So again, you're just going to give yourself a chance to settle in, find that appropriate edge, maybe make any adjustments that you need to. If there's too much tugging on your inner thighs, you can bring your knees in a bit. You can back off here if there's too much pull on the shoulders. So finding that appropriate edge where you can soften and stay for a while. Okay, you can stay in this pose. And I'm going to come up and read you a poem. This poem is called Out of Season by Rosemary Traumer. Autumn is perhaps befitting for heartache 
Everywhere you look, loss. Loss of leaves, loss of color, loss of warmth, loss of light. If you are grieving, the barren world seems to mirror what is happening inside you. Everything seems to say, see, you can't hold on. So how to explain this explosion of beauty, this unexpected spring of grace? How to explain the way of generosity pushes through what's dead, like apple trees in first pink, how gratitude flourishes enormous invisible blooms. And though you can't see them, everywhere, everywhere in this heart of autumn, you smell the insistent green in spring tood, the astonishing perfume of love. Autumn is perhaps befitting for heartache. Everywhere you look, loss. Loss of leaves, loss of color, loss of warmth, loss of light. If you are grieving, the barren world seems to mirror what is happening inside you. Everything seems to say, see, you can't hold on. So how to explain this explosion of beauty, this unexpected spring of grace? How to explain the way generosity pushes through what's dead, like apple trees in first pink? How gratitude flourishes, enormous invisible blooms. And though you can't see them everywhere, everywhere in this heart of autumn, you smell the insistent green in springtide, the astonishing perfume of love. You're going to slowly release this side from your body. You can either lie on your stomach or your back to feel the rebound. Okay, we're gonna do the other side. So if you have knee issues or ankle issues, you can line your back with your knees bent and just draw your right arm across your body here. So you wanna feel that lung and uh, large intestine meridian here on the outside of the arm. Otherwise you can come back to child's pose. Knees wide, walking your hands over to the left side of your body taking the right arm underneath the left, resting the right side of your head on the ground. You'll be here for five minutes.
So lots of choices where you place your attention when you're in your yin postures. You can feel the sensation in your body here, particularly along the large intestine meridian, on the outside of your arm. can follow your breathing. And here it can be interesting to feel your breath into the side of your shoulder. Into the sides of your ribs. You can feel your connection to the earth, the parts of your body that are grounding with the earth. If this is all feeling like too much interoception, feeling your body from the inside, you can open your eyes and ground yourself by the looking at objects in your space. You can be mindful of the scents in your space, breathing in and smelling what you smell. You can smile to your body's innate capacity to breathe, to breathe in, to breathe out through your lungs, and to let go through your large intestines. So take a breath and slowly release this pose and you can make your way onto your back or onto your belly to feel the flow of chi in your body.
Okay, slowly bend your knees and roll to your side. Make your way up to seated. We're gonna do some stretches for our wrists now. And you're gonna need your blocks for this. You're gonna stack them up like this, not for the first one, but for the second one. And for this one, you're gonna start with your hands in prayer position. Okay, so your hands are in prayer position and we're wanting to stimulate the large intestine, the, the lung meridian on the inside of the arms down through the thumbs. So your elbows are gonna be up and the lower you lower your hands, the more you're gonna be able to feel that. And you're gonna start by pressing, actually you can use the blocks for this too. You're gonna to start by, and if you take your arms wider, you're gonna start by pressing your hands to one side. And you'll feel the stretch into your wrist and your thumb. So we'll stay here for about a minute. So breathing, relax your shoulders. Okay, and then we're just gonna come up and just relax and feel that flow chi, particularly through the wrist and down into the thumb. And then we'll go ahead and do it on the other side. So here you guys will see where I'm really still so rehabbing this wrist where I've got my plates and my screws and my, I'm a bionic woman now. <laughs> it's so exciting. So you guys, you'll see like on the wrist that has mobility, you're able to go really into extension. I don't have my extension back yet. But I can feel an edge here already, so I'm in a good spot. So relax your shoulders. Soften your jaw. Soften your eyebrows. Breathe softly. And then we're going to just pause and feel that flow of chi down through the lung meridian on the inside of this arm. So good, I love these wrist stretches. It's nice when you go to physio, you get an opportunity to learn new things, right? <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into uh, a wrist stretch for your large intestine meridian. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create a nice supportive prop for your for your arm and then you're gonna hang your wrist off it and then you're gonna apply some tension here until you feel um, a stretch along your forearm here. So you're gonna press so however much you need to to feel that. We'll, we'll stay here for about a minute.
So make sure you're breathing. The forearms I find tend to be quite tight. I think it's from all the keyboarding and um, thumb typing we do on our phones. Relax the shoulders. Okay, and then release. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do that on the other arm. So you'll you'll let your wrist hang over. And again, you'll see because of my surgery and physio, I don't have the range of motion here yet. But, so it'll be really different for you. But we'll do this for about another minute here on this side. And you'll just apply pressure until you feel sensation along the front of the wrist and the forearm. That's only 30 seconds. We're gonna stay here for about 30 more seconds. Okay, great. And then just feel that flow of chi through your wrist. You can invite a little yang movement in if you need that. Okay, and then we're gonna do some broken wing pose to get back into the lung meridians here. So you can put your blocks off to the side. And you'll start on all fours. You walk your knees over to the right side of your mat, lower your left hips down, Take your left arm out to the side and lower the left side of your head to the ground. You're going to be in this pose for five minutes. So I have a poem for you here. This is called Fall Song by Mary Oliver. Another year gone, leaving everywhere its rich spiced residues, vines, leaves, the uneaten fruits crumbling damply in the shadows, unmattering back from the particular island of this summer, this now that now is nowhere, except underfoot, moldering in that black subterranean castle of unobservable mysteries, roots and sealed seeds, and the wanderings of water this I try to remember when time's measure painfully chafes. For instance, when autumn flares out at the last boisterous and likes us longing to stay, how everything lives, shifting from one bright vision to another, forever in these momentary pastures. Another year gone, leaving everywhere its rich spiced residues, vines, leaves, the uneaten fruits crumbling damply in the shadows, unmattering back from the particular island of this summer, this now that now is nowhere, except underfoot, moldering in that black subterranean castle of unobservable mysteries, roots and sealed seeds 
in wanderings of water. This I try to remember when time's measure painfully chafes. For instance, when autumn flares out at the last boisterous and like us longing to stay, how everything lives shifting from one bright vision to another forever in these momentary pastures. Take a breath. Go ahead and rest on your back and feel the flow of chi. Then we're going to come and do the other side. So you're going to start on all fours again. This time you'll walk your knees over to the left side of your mat, lower your right hips down, take your right arm out to the side. <laughs> this side is really hard for me. <laughs> I might have to do the left side again. And you're gonna be here for five minutes.
take a breath and find your way out of this pose. You're going to lie on your back and just feel the flow of chi. Your final yin pose is going to be supported fish pose. And this will be your pose for Shavasana as well. So if you'd rather not do supported fish pose, you can set yourself up for Shavasana instead. So either set up your blocks or your Shavasana. And you can go ahead and rest back to receive your, your class. Either stimulating the the lung meridians again or resting in shavasana to receive your practice it's totally up to you what feels best for you you're going to be here for five minutes and i'm going to read you one last poem This is called Making Applesauce by Rosemary Traumer. To buy three boxes of apples is to believe the world will go on long enough that we should preserve the goodness of autumn. Perhaps it is practical to cook the fruit, to store it in jars, but I prefer to think of it as hope filling the house with its sweet red perfume Hope filling the shelves with the memory of sunshine, of bloom. To buy three boxes of apples is to believe the world will go on long enough that we should preserve the goodness of autumn. Perhaps it is practical to cook the fruit, to store it in jars, but I prefer to think of it as hope filling the house with its sweet red perfume, hope filling the shelves with the memory of sunshine, of bloom.
Okay, so you're just going to very slowly make your way off the blocks and up to a seated position. I want to thank you so much for joining me for my first class back with you in a long time. If you enjoyed it, I would appreciate it so much if you press that like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and put I'm preserving the goodness of autumn in the comments. Again, I'd love to invite you to join me for the retreat that I'm planning on November 4th, 5th, and 6th online in our membership community. It's something I've been looking forward to all year long. It's an online metal element retreat to prepare to restore your winter um, energy to build those kidney energy reserves. So first, before you build those kidney, kidney energy reserves, we can do a lot to prepare to build those kidney energy reserves. So if you're interested, you can email me at admin at melissawest.com. This is a three-day yoga retreat online designed to let go in metal element season so that you will have the space to build your kidney reserves in water element season. I'll support you in clearing your physical space, your virtual space, putting down projects that are no longer serving you, getting honest about where your energy is being drained, mental and emotional clutter and spiritual baggage. So it's something I've been looking forward to uh, leading all year long. I'm really looking forward to leading it. And if you feel inspired to join us for that, then uh, let me know, as I say, by emailing me at admin at melissawest.com. I'm not doing any big promos because I just don't have the capacity for that right now. But I just wanted to send out that invitation. So I'm sending you much love from beautiful British Columbia. May your joy be as deep as our Pacific Ocean. May you be rooted as the old growth trees in our forest. And may you be as strong as our mountains. <laughs>